Welcome to the very first episode of our brand new series, Lighten Up. This series is all about creating lightened up versions of comfort foods that we all know and love. And in honor of our first episode, I decided to tackle one of my very favorite comfort foods, fettuccine alfredo. This lightened up version is brought to you by a very unexpected ingredient, cauliflower. And if you're curious to know just how lightened up this Alfredo sauce is, a traditional Alfredo sauce has 215 calories and 20 grams of fat. This sauce, on the other hand, boasts 103 calories and 7 grams of fat. Now that is a reason to celebrate. So to get started today, I've got a big pot of water boiling away on the stove and I'm going to cook my pasta. Now I'm using fettuccine in this recipe. You could totally use any kind of pasta you like. You could also replace regular pasta with some brown rice pasta or some quinoa pasta. All of them will work just as well. We're going to cook our pasta according to package directions and once it's al dente, we are going to drain it and set it aside. Now it's time to get started on the Alfredo sauce. So I've got a skillet on the stove with some oil heating up and to that I'm going to add a couple cloves of minced garlic because it wouldn't be Alfredo sauce without some good old fashioned garlic. I'm going to let my garlic heat up for 20 to 30 seconds or until it becomes fragrant. Then I'm going to add my cauliflower florets to my pan and top it with some chicken broth. You could also use vegetable broth in this recipe, it will work just as well. I'm going to put a lid on my skillet, turn the heat down to medium and let the cauliflower steam for between 8 and 10 minutes or until it is super soft and beginning to fall apart. Once it's done, I'm going to toss it into the food processor and give it a really good pulse for about a minute. If you find your cauliflower mixture is too thick, you can add a little more chicken broth until you've thinned out the consistency. Once it's all buzzed up, we are going to season it with some salt, some pepper, some freshly grated Parmesan, some chili flakes if you like the heat, and finally, with some freshly chopped parsley. We're going to give it another buzz for about a minute and then your sauce is ready. Can you believe it? We're going to pour this over our pasta, toss it together really well, and it is ready to serve. I like to serve it with a little more grated Parmesan and some fresh parsley for garnish. I hope you'll give this lightened up version a try and let me know how it turns out for you. Be sure to tweet or Instagram me a photo because you know I love seeing what you're coming up with in your very own kitchens. And if you have any dishes you'd like to see lightened up, please be sure to leave them in the comment section below. And finally, if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe to The Domestic Geek because there's lots more deliciousness where this came from.